So, Mer Mer Marilyn Monroe with animals. Okay, so there are all these lovely photographs of Marilyn Monroe with uh, pets. All right, so let's go to images, and I'm going to show you how I pick the images. So, um, there are all of these lovely, like this one right here. Okay, okay. What's good about this image? Okay, let's get back there. Okay, do you see as I, it's, it's really high definition okay so that's a beautiful thing so sometimes it's not easy because you don't, you want to so open image in new tab see now it opens the thumbnail okay I want to get to that image so I have to visit the site okay yeah 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 whatever Okay, so tous les animaux. So it's gonna show the stars with the animals, and this is in Vogue magazine. Bridget Bardot, she's a big. So this is a fantastic resource. All right. Oh my God, who's that? Where's Marilyn? Come on, Marilyn. Audrey Hepburn. So now I want to find that ex exact pic. Okay, so Paul McCartney. Don't know who that is. Bridget Bardo, oh, that's a beautiful one. Okay, but I want to find the uh, Marilyn. There she is. So let's open image in new tab. All right, so here we go. Boom! You see how it comes all the way over the screen? So I'm going to save image as. Okay. Now, we're going to go back. All right. We're going to go back. To, I don't know where did I save that? I, I think I saved it to the desktop. I like to save everything to the desktop, clutter up my desktop, and then clean it off. Yeah, I saved it to the desktop. Okay, so now the problem with this, it's not a problem, but it's a beautiful image, right? But it's not lit very well. If you look in the background here, the lightest light is here, and so, uh, we can take it into Google Photos and crop it and pop it later, but just to save time here, all right, I'm gonna bring it in this tool, Picasa, it's my favorite graphics tool. And so I like to see, okay, so we're gonna go automatic contrast, does that do anything? A little bit, all right? And so the, the contrast speaker, so you see what I'm saying? Look on her cheek, look on her cheek there. Mm. And then there's a little bit of light here, Let's, let's look for the shadows. Is that going to make anything? I don't know. I don't know. It could work out to be something, but it's at, on a subject matter level, it's a 10. On an actual composition level, in terms of curioscuro, on something that would pop off the canvas to paint, I'd give it about a 5. All right? So, also, we're going to want to crop it and pop it, and we can do this in Go Google Photos, but I'm going to do it here just so you get the mindset, so I can crop and pop here. And so what we want to do is we want to crop and pop in a, uh, in temp into like thirds. You see how the dog's eyes is kind of like thirds, and this eye is about a third, and also if you put this two inches together, it kind of looks like a heart. Okay, so we can preview. Okay, it's cutting off her mouth. Let's bring it this way. Okay, now that might be a really nice picture, but as far as the curio skewer, as far as the, the pop, the composition, the subject matter is first class. And as far as the pop is concerned. Okay, so let's Let's discard, let's get out of there. And so now let's again uh, look for, this is, I'm gonna, I gotta bookmark this, cause this is like babes, babes with pets. Okay, so 
here we go. All right. This one. This one. Here we go. Boom. Oh. Oh, you see that number down there? It's it's uh, uh, anything in where we get to like 1280 by 720. It's gonna it's gonna. All right. All right. All right. So let's go back. Let's go back. Let's open open image in new tab. Okay. So now this doesn't look like the thumbnail. This looks like the actual image. Do you see the difference in contrast between the pug's face, right? The darkness that's going here and the super light that's just blazing off our hair. All right. So you catch just a little bit and you see much more contrast going on. Much more contrast. So let's this also save image as we're going to bring it onto the desktop. Now, uh, for you, because I'm not sure how good you are in terms of manipulating the image, I'm not sure what if you are um, very comfortable with the uh, graphics software, I'm not sure. So we would do this in Google, like in, in Google Photos, you can do what I'm doing here, but this is much uh, quicker. So we're gonna go here. So they have this auto credit, it's Picasa. They, it's discontinued, but contact me and I can give you a link because you can still get it. Auto contrast, oh, just so subtle. You see that now her forehead and her cheeks come out and that pug is still so a little fill light. Oh, oh, we don't wanna get two, we don't wanna get two. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, the highlight, let's get the shadows going. Oh man. Okay, so the pug's face is a little bit dark. If you go here, it's too lit. It's too highlight. So maybe you could do two pictures, hit the pug's face, and then bring it down. You would, you don't want, so let's undo all the tuning. All right, let's undo all the tuning. Oh, man. So, right now, I would say Curioscuro, light and dark, which is about an eight. The subject matter, and then look at her lips. She's got the highlight on the lips, okay? So let's crop and pop it. And also, we have kind of a heart-shaped thing going on. So let's crop and pop. Okay, we pop, so let's crop. We're going album cover size. And once again, we want to think in terms of thirds. So we want to see something that's on the line of the third on the bottom and something on the line of the third at the top. And the hardest part of this whole deal is all that beautiful hair. See, you could be like, oh, look at the beautiful hair, look at the beautiful hair. Then you go like this, you go like this. Right, and then you go like this, and then and then you uh, and then you go like this, and yes, you know, sure, sure, but but if you're going to put it on the sides of an album, okay, if you're going to go this size, right, that face is going to be this big, and you'll be you'll be painting. You'll be painting with a brush that has three hairs. Okay, you see that brush? I used to make those mistakes. If you're gonna paint it that size, your canvas has to be at least this size. All right? You don't wanna go in there painting with toothpicks and and and, and uh, single hairs. So, undo crop, we're gonna go, we're gonna go bigger. Now watch this. Even though, you know, as a painter, your ego trip might be like, oh, look at that beautiful hair. I'm going to show everybody, I'm going to show everybody uh, uh, how awesome I am with my paints and then your ego trip. But nobody really, okay, if you go like this. If you go like this, does anybody care? Does anybody care? Does that look like Marilyn Monroe? Right? No, nobody cares. Okay? So, uh, uh, what matters is the face. So this is the hardest part of the crop and pop thing. You, you get, you get big, all right? So I, I, we're looking at thirds, so we even go more. See, I'm slicing the top of her head up, but I do want to catch some of that hair. Okay, I do want to catch some of that hair, it's got those lovely lights in it. 
So we're gonna go and then and our fingers, so it's nice to see the finger coming across there and then they get the sort of a shape of the heart there. Right? And so something around there. There we go. Do you see what I'm talking about? Let's do that again. Oh, so she so got the beautiful light of her hair. See, no ego trip, just all Marilyn and the pug. And I think we could move it up some. We could move it up some. So it's important. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. Now that would be awesome to paint. And then if you wanted to do the, you define the pug a little bit more. You state Marilyn. You copy this picture and you throw some light in and you define the pug. That's too light for Marilyn. All right, that's too light. So, all right. So let's go for another one. I got one more that I want to show you. What about, what about, what about, what about our love, what about our love, okay, what about time so we're back to the, we're back to the Streamlabs studio, we'll bring the, we'll bring the, uh, we'll bring the mix down, so, okay, so let's go again, let's go again, let's go again, let's go again, uh, what about the sunny days and money could Okay. All right. So these are all these lovely photos of this one is adorable right there. What about that crazy dream when I That one's a great one. Definition isn't isn't all that there. The definition isn't all that. But this one, oh my god, come on. Okay, so what we have here is 600 by 600. If we had it more definition, it would be even better because there's a lot of things happening with the eyeliner just above the eye there and the, uh, the uh, what's happening inside the eye of the cat. So, I'm going to show you another secret. Okay, so we go like this. First secret number one is if you have windows, right? So you go down here. You go down here once again. I'll show you. Oh. Go down to your toolbar, right? So you see my see my mouse? Okay, so go down to the magnifying glass. Okay? Hit that magnifying glass. Then Right underneath the search box is this little thing here. It says search for screenshot. Okay? Hit that. And then go like this. Similar searches on the web. Okay, so now it's showing me all of the pictures 42 image sizes, all right? 42 image sizes, baby. I'm showing you all my secrets. Oh, we hit the mother load, Pinterest. It's the full picture. Uh, so we're going to open image in the tab. Come on, Bing. Bing gets all weird. Like, what open image in the tab. Come on. Oh, are, 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 are you doing something that, you know? Okay. There we go. Save him with that. That's great. Now she's got, she's got like, uh, 
this one, this one might almost be, you know, get a canvas. She got, look at her hands. She has some sort of, like, a sexy Madonna gloves on. Anyways, okay, so let's go back. Okay, and so the next thing you can do is, okay, so we'll, we'll save this image as 600 by 600 uh, pixels. We're going to save that. And this is the next trick. I'm showing you all my tricks here. I'm showing you all my secrets. Where are you? Should be. Oh. Come on. Open image in the tab. Right? It's not a not as a okay. So save image as make this edit ready for me. Alright. So we're gonna open it. And now I'm gonna copy the full path and we're gonna go to Google Images. All right, so just go Google. Google Images, All right? Google, sorry. I meant to say, just write in Google Images. All right. Another great resource. So, you search by image and it gives you the choice of a URL or a file. And so we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna take that one. Now, we just wait and we see. Okay, Marilyn Monroe with cat, all sizes. All right. Now it doesn't show the, it doesn't show the one Oh man This one is 1080 by 1080 1080 by 1080 This one's from China 960 So we're gonna we're gonna we're just gonna have to open image in new tab and we're gonna have to say hello This is beautiful Look at that cat that I in that cat save image as so now this one okay this one is almost painted it's almost painted for you all right so crop and pop we could crop it even more I don't know if we want to how much we want to leave of the, the thing there come on would that be fun or not? See, we got the thirds going, and that cat. This, this could, this. This would be so much fun to paint. I'm gonna hit the contrast. I don't know, maybe too much, maybe too much, maybe too much. Undo the contrast. Let us, let us do it by hand. We're gonna we're gonna put some, we're gonna hit the shadows just a touch. See that just a touch, and then just a touch and fill just a touch. Oh, oh man, this would be so much fun to paint. And so what I'm looking at is the black. I don't want I don't want to wash. I don't want to get the black too black. I don't want to get the look. See that? See that? That's just like, you know. And so I'm looking right under her chin here. And I'm looking at this earring. And I'm looking at the cat's eye. Okay, so the only change that I see is in her cheeks. So. We don't want to wash it up too much. So maybe just something just like that. This would be so much fun to paint, and this would look awesome. And the mystery of just like this black business going on here is like, what that, what's that all about? So that, ladies and gents, let's get 
back to Command Central. Let's get back to Command Central. Okay. <laughs> that was how you do it. That's that's how you think about when um when you're painting, when you're searching for a photo, those are the things that you want to um, think about. It's not just the emotional impact of the image. The emotional of the impact is secondary. The number one thing you want to look for is curioscuro. You want to have that light and the dark uh, contrast. Number one, because it's easier to paint. But number two, because in this method, we're not just painting to paint. We're painting something that sort of reaches back into traditional realist, uh, the traditional realist method, which is that dramatic light and dark. Oops, excuse me. So, when you paint, when you paint Marilyn, like this in a curioscuro way you're sort of giving her shout out you could see that she loves that little kitty you're giving you know that the love of that used to be displayed on the canvas in this style for baby jesus it used to be displayed for the great myths and stories um, of Greek mythology and <clears throat> biblical stories well you're giving the same respect when you paint in this style when you're thinking curioscuro when you're thinking shadows and darks it is automatically uh, speaking to that respect alright capiche Capish Okay, so uh we uh we'll be right back but first a word from our sponsor. Hi, I'm Liam founder of the Classical Artist Painting Method for Executives. You heard me, the Cap M for Execs. What's this all about? Well, with this method, you'll be painting like Da Vinci without leaving your desk or home office. Yeah, Da Vinci. And me? Are my paintings any good? No. My paintings are awesome. Any artwork that can capture your awareness has the power to touch your heart and stir emotion. Like the first time Eric Clapton saw Jimi Hendrix play live, he cried like a little girl. Ain't that right, Jimbo? And do you think anybody really wants crappy art anymore, like abstract figures painted with bubblegum color squirted directly from the tube? Old masters used to ground their pigments from rock and stone with a case of smallpox. So stop buying gifts that nobody likes and get real with art so smart it'll be passed down for generations to come. All created with a desktop easel and a computer screen. We're not just teaching people how to paint, we're transforming lives. Luigi, what were you doing last month? Not painting. What are you doing now? Painting. I'm no Warren Buffett. But killer art is an asset class. So stop wondering what your great-great-grandkids will say about you and start picking out the wall space to show off your latest masterpiece that, like the Mona Lisa, just might live forever. This is the Cap M for Execs, and the party starts now.
This is the path of the artist patent method for executives. everybody thank you so much for tuning in those are my big secrets <laughs> i hope you enjoyed coming coming over to my place checking everything out all right okay so a little uh, asmr mm -hmm. french kisses you have to lean from paris I'll give you an update and see how I got my ads. If you're getting ads, I'm sorry. I just blame Facebook. <laughs> I'm going large with the Facebook ads. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.